Hi folks, uh, this video is uh, going to be looking at solving right triangles. So what that means is we're going to find all of the angles and all of the sides that are in any specific, any right triangle that we're going to be dealing with. All right, so section 2.6 in your textbook, uh, it's still outcome M4. And uh, you can find this and more examples on page 105 to 109 in your textbook. Okay, so here's the question that we're going to be working on. And uh, you notice that you're given one side, that's side AB right here, and you're given one angle. Okay, so your goal is to figure out what this side is over here this side over here, and then this angle over here. So you're probably wondering, I only need to find one other angle? Well, yeah, right, we, al we already have two, right? Uh, we've got this one, it's given as 40 degrees, and this one, well, it's obvious, it's 90 degrees. Okay, so let's jump right in. <clears throat> and the first thing that we wanna do is label our triangle with opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse. Okay, so this is our opposite side. Okay. Uh, this is our hypotenuse. And this is our adjacent side. All right, so uh, basically pick a side to solve first. It doesn't matter which one you do, just make a decision and go with it. So let's choose to figure out what this opposite, opposite side is. Okay, so since we're gonna be using uh, opposite and uh, adjacent, that means that we are going to use our tangent ratio. So we've got tan of 40 degrees, and that equals opposite over adjacent. Okay, and so fill in what we know. So we don't know our opposite, so let's call that x, and then our adjacent is, uh, let's see, 4.3. Okay, so now we want to solve for x, okay? So let's just write it so it's a little cleaner. Tan of 40 degrees equals uh, x over 4.3. Solve for x, multiply both sides by 4.3, and we end up getting x equals 4.3 times tan of 40 degrees. Okay, plug that into your calculator, make sure everything's in degree mode, and then we end up getting 3.6 centimeters. Okay, and I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna write that on my triangle so I can keep track of all the sides and all the angles that I've figured out so far. Okay, so that opposite side, which is uh, side AC, or also known as lowercase b, is 3.6 centimeters. All right, so what's left to find? Uh, now I still need to find the hypotenuse. Well, remember Pythagoras? Well, let's use that here. So we've got two sides of the triangle already, and we can use Pythagoras to find the third side. So let's do that. So let's rewrite, let's write down what Pythagoras actually is. So it's c squared uh, equals a squared plus b squared, and uh, we are solving for the hypotenuse this time, so we don't need to rearrange anything. Uh, we've got our, let's, uh, one of the legs is 3.6, so 3.6 squared. The other leg is 4.3, so square that, and we end up getting uh, c squared equaling 31.45, and we need to solve for c, right? So square root both sides and we end up getting 5.6 centimeters, sorry, that's a centimeters, 5.6 centimeters for this side right here. So let's write that in as this being 5.6 centimeters. Okay, so that's this side right here, that side right here. Now double check what else is left to find. Well, I've got a length for all three sides. I need to find all the angles now. All right, so in order to find the angle, uh, this is 40, that's 90. How do I find the third side? Well, angle C is 180 minus the other two angles. 
All right. And then that gives me angle C having a value of 50 degrees. So then I'm going to go back to my triangle and write it in right here. All right. So have a look at the exercises and try some questions from your textbook and uh, good luck with this everyone.